Welcome back to Von Blues Boxing, man. What's up with everybody out there, man? So, um, yeah, I just wanted to come with this video and give my predictions for the Steve Fulton and Angelio, um, I mean, Angelo Leo um, fight card for all the fights on there, including the WBO title fight with Fulton and uh, Leo. And, um, yeah, so on the card, we got um, on there, I think, on, on, kind of on the... Um, on the card, we got the first fight will be um, Risi Alim versus uh, Vic Pasilis. So Vic Pasilis is a guy he had like for a time he was a pretty good prospect. He was a pretty good prospect, but then he went through a promotional issue. I think he had a promotional issue, so it kept him away for a while, a couple of years. But he came back um, a couple of months ago, got a nice win against Encarnacion, stopped him. You know, looked good in the fight. Um, Pasilis, you know, kind of put himself out there a little bit and let people know, like, okay, yeah, I could be a real, you know possibly a contender in his division so um he's fighting Raseem Ali you know Aleem Aleem is a pretty good prospect you know 14 wins I believe 11 knockouts so he's a really good fighter I think it's gonna be a really really good fight I think uh Pasilas is gonna try to bring the fight to Aleem so it's gonna be really really good fight that's the one keep your eyes on that one don't you know what I'm saying don't sleep on that fight that's another good fight but um I'm gonna go with Aleem in that fight I think Aleem will win a close fight i think he'll win eight to four rounds possibly seven to five rounds so i'm thinking that unanimous decision eight to four rounds but it's gonna be a very competitive fight very good fight i think um but is gonna make a really good account of itself then we got um in the co-main event uh the return of roly romero versus uh i believe his name is uh padado or something like that yeah he's fighting this guy uh, Pilado. um so Roly Romero is coming off that controversial uh, decision win against Jackson Marinez. And, um, yeah, so it was a very controversial fight. A lot of the boxing media, the boxing world, including myself, think that Jackson Marinez won that fight. But um, Roly has to move on. Um, I guess there was complications with the um, contract. Because I guess from what I was reading on boxing scene, Roly sent Jackson Marinez a contract. But Jackson Marinez already had signed on to fight um What's his name? Uh, what's that man named? Richard Comey. So, you know, so he signed off to do that. And, and you know, so the fight didn't happen. I guess it, Roly didn't get the contract in time. Jackson Marina's moved on. So we're not going to see them fight. So he's fighting this guy, Pilato. I mean, I guess he's there. You know, I think this is going to be a more competitive fight than people think. Now, Roly is Roly should be able to get him out of there in a couple of rounds but i think if this goes past six or seven rounds we're gonna have an interesting fight because Pilato he liked the fight the man likes to come forward he likes to throw his hands and he's got some pretty good offense and he you know he comes to fight so he's gonna try to make this interesting fight you know what i'm saying i think this is gonna be interesting but i'm gonna give Roly romero the unanimous decision i think Roly is gonna win like nine to three rounds uh i think i got Roly to win in um Unanimous decision in this fight. So I think Roly will win this fight. Unanimous decision. Um, stoppage, maybe. You know, dude, Pilato, I watched him. He does have a tendency to get hit because, you know, he opens up. He comes forward. So, you know, he has a tendency to get hit at times, you know, and open up self and leave himself open. And, you know, with a guy like Roly Romero, you know, people can say what they want about Roly. But Roly packed a good punch. Roly got some power in his punches. So um, it'll be seen. So I'm going to go with the decision for Roly Romero. And then... The fight I've been waiting for, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this fight. I've been really excited about this fight. And this is a fight that I think is one of those fights that is going to get, you know, that was being kind of slept on, but not all the way slept on. So I'm going to go, it's with Steve Fulton, Angelo Leo. Angelo Leo is the WBO champion. Um, him and Steve Fulton was supposed to fight, but Steve Fulton ended up getting COVID. So, you know, he had to quarantine, take some time off, get himself back in, you know, into the swing of things. And then this fight got rescheduled. And, um... So basically, Angelo Leo fought Tremaine Williams. Tremaine Williams came up, up in the fight because he was fighting the co-main event. He went up in the main event, came in, fought. He lost to Angelo Leo. Angelo Leo was impressive, though. Angelo Leo showed that he he knows what to do, how to try to stop that, you know, uh, you know, guys who got good footwork, you know, guys who like to move around, box from the outside, and, you know, try to use, you know, different little angles and movements on you and stuff like that. So Angelo Leo got that win, so he became the WBO champion. And now we got this fight in and um, with him and Steve Fulton. So both guys are PVC guys. We know this is on PVC. And one thing I noticed about the 122 pound division is that PVC has got a lot of the top 122 pounders 
on PBC. You got Daniel Ramon, you got Brandon Figueroa, you got uh, Luis Neri who moved up to 122 pounds, and you got Angelo Leo and Steve Fulton. So you got, you know, so there's options, and whoever wins this fight, man, is going to open themselves up possibly to a unification bout with Luis Neri because Ray Vargas went up to 126, so they're probably going to give Luis Neri the 122 belt, or they have him fight like a vacant or like, you know, for the uh, inter. Basically, he'll be fighting for the vacant title, become the champion, and, you know, you can connect the fight there. Or you got Daniel Roman, so, or Brandon Figueroa, who's a, a partial champion too. So th there's a lot of options for guys at PBC and 122. So this fight has some... Pretty good significance for two young fighters. But it's time to give my predictions. I'm going with Steve Fulton in a very, very close decision or controversial decision. I think this fight, Steve Fulton is going to win seven to five rounds. But I think seven to five rounds. But I think this is going to be a fight where you're going to see boxing fans split on who won this fight. Because I think it's going to be a very, very close fight. But I'm going with Steve Fulton, 7-5 to five rounds. I wouldn't be shocked if Angelo Leo won this fight. But this is going to be a fight that people are going to question who won this fight. That's how close I think this fight is going to be. So that's my predictions on it. And whoever wins this, they're going to open themselves up to a wide a range of things. Especially being, you know, 122 pounder and on the PBC side of the street, as they say in boxing nowadays. So, yeah. So, guys, don't miss this fight. Check it out. It's going to be a good fight. If you got Showtime, check it out. If you're streaming, hey, that's you. Do what you want. You know what I'm saying? But check this fight out. You know what I'm saying? Don't miss this boxing match. This has got some implications, man. And, uh, yeah, so I don't want to go too, too long on my prediction video, man. That's just my predictions for these fights this weekend. I will be checking it out. Y'all be good. Y'all be safe, man. Von Blues Boxing. I'm out.